What's up? It's Andy from Banshee Boat. Today we're going to go over some of the most important things that you should look for on a boat before investing your hard-earned money. Woo! Banshee Boat, baby! Are you good? Close. Banshee Boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boating safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on boat. Always play safe on the water. First of all, you're going to want to check the engine. It's the most obvious and most exciting thing about a boat. So, uh, first thing I notice down here is I do see some uh, wear on the paint. But when I do come down here and feel this edge, it's nice and uh, nice and smooth. There's no nicks or dings out of it. It hasn't been uh, hit by anything when you're driving. I just want to come down here. I want to make sure my propeller spins freely and it spins true. What I would definitely recommend doing before purchasing the boat, especially if you don't know the history of the boat, is checking this oil in the gearbox. Leave the top one connected because uh, then it won't leak out as much. We're going to crack the bottom one. And we're basically just checking that. We're basically just going to take a look and see what uh, the liquid looks like on there. And just see what's inside. See what it looks like in there. See if there's any water inside. Or just see if there's any metal scrapings coming out. Because the last thing you want is to buy a boat without uh, the right stuff in there. I'm gonna make another video on how to change the gearbox oil. It's really easy, but uh, just for checking. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's nice. And uh, another thing, does the engine match the mount? Does it look like it was there originally? Does it look like it's fitting properly? So the first thing I would do is come over here, and uh, the first thing I wanna do, if the boat has automatic tilt and trim, first thing I'm gonna do is trim it up. I'm going to want to remove the lock, and I'm gonna fully function the entire trim, all the way down, And then, I would come over here. I'm just gonna open the engine bay like so. And put that over at the side. So I'm just gonna give a quick visual inspection. I'm not gonna go too deep into it today. Quick visual inspection, make sure everything looks all right. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the muffs on here then we're actually gonna fire it up because you just wanna know the engine runs properly. It's the most important, most expensive part of the boat, so it should definitely be your first check. Working right. There we go. Here we go. How's it look? Good. Everything looks good, you know? I'm actually gonna get my stand and I'll throw this under here. So what I made is a little stand that I can actually put under there so I can get in the boat at the precise angle that I'm at and then we can check uh, the inside. The next thing I'm gonna do is come down here and check out the engine mounts here. These engine bolts where the motor mounts onto the boat. You wanna make sure that that looks good around it and doesn't look rotten. If you have a wood transom, which you might, uh, which is this back portion here, which is this back area here, if it's wood, you wanna make sure it's not rotting out. If it's uh, fiberglass, like this, you just want to make sure everything looks good. Like with these bolts, everything looks solid and uh, it looks like everything's in good shape. Everything looks solid there and everything looks like it's in good shape and nothing's falling apart there. 
So we want to check our uh, forward and reverse. So normally I'd start up the engine, put it in forward, check out the forward, make sure it goes in forward smoothly, check out the reverse, make sure it goes in smooth and reverse, fire the ignition switch, make sure that works. Another thing we're gonna check out is the steering wheel. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the engine can freely and easily move when you're turning the wheel. The cable that's there, uh, you just wanna make sure everything looks good. The quality of that, everything's smooth there. When the is turning. And make sure it just feels nice and smooth because this is just another thing that's gonna cost you more money if it doesn't work when you buy the boat. Another thing I wanted to mention down here, it's worth a shot to check it. Make sure, make sure you take a look through all your boat um, storage and see what's going on in there. But also take a look inside there for damage or anything like this. Inside those compartments, see what's going on in there. Any spots like that. You can even check out uh, the front. And it looks like it's in very good condition inside here. Just take a close look. Any open spaces for damage all around, uh, that's a great thing to look for. Another thing you're gonna wanna consider is obviously the condition of your seats and the condition of the interior of the boat. Uh, because this is obviously gonna be what you're gonna have to live with and whether it's worth your investment to put into the boat. So obviously I wouldn't want something, I knew what budget I had, but I had to get something that was pretty clean in the inside, you know. There are minor blemishes, but that doesn't matter. It didn't matter to me as long as it looked pretty clean inside. Make sure you check those seats underneath, all inside. Check all the things that the boat comes with. You want to know exactly what the boat comes with. Make sure everything's secure. Really take a close look at everything. Okay, here's the ignition again. So when, if I, hopefully you can get the boat running, then you're going to want to check it in forward. You're gonna to wanna to check it in reverse. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it goes smoothly. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it starts all right. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure everything works. If you're gonna be uh, boarding at night, the lights are a pretty important component uh, or else you're gonna to have to end up putting more money in wiring. So, so if we take a look back here in the gas uh, section here and take a look inside there. So we got the battery compartment in there. So you just want to take a look at the terminals, make sure the battery's good. When you start the engine, you're also going to know if the battery's good because the engine's going to fire up. It's going to tell you a lot when you start it. Um, it's going to tell you a lot when you start it. You want to check uh, what kind of wiring you got back in here. It's a little bit of a mess, but I know what some, I know what most of them are for. They're for the lights, and I've checked a lot of it out. Uh, I checked it all out before I bought it. Just look down there, just give a quick look and uh, see what's going on. So those are just lights wiring, which I do not use right now at least. I don't need any lights or anything, but there is gonna be uh, some pretty booming stereo uh, lights in there pretty soon, I'll tell you that. Um, so we got, a six, we got our battery right there. Check your battery mounting, check your battery condition, check what it looks like. And then you're gonna look for damage at the bottom here. Like, uh, like right here. This might look like a little bit of damage, but it's just uh, fiberglass that's coming loose. This boat's 35 years old, and that's nowhere near the hull. It's just from the battery being up there, smashing down on this little thing. It's just the fiberglass. So that, to me, it looks good. Uh, this wood, solid under there. Everything else looks solid here. And uh, around, all around to the other side, everything looks great. So even stuff like that. Um, Everything's looking really good. You're going to want to know what kind of fuel tank comes with your boat because uh, if you don't know, that's going to be something that you need to buy immediately. Do a little bit of research on the brand of the boat just to know a little bit beforehand before you go. Stress cracks and signs of damage can be visible on the outside layer of the boat since there is a hard shell surface. Um, when the boat when the, if the boat's been on extremely rough water, the actual boat can flex a little bit, causing the outside shell layer to actually have uh, spider cracks from the actual fiberglass twisting. The fiberglass can move a little bit, but the outside hard coat top layer can't. You could see crack marks on it. So this boat actually looks good. We know it's, 
don't, let's not kid ourselves. We know this boat's been on some intense water and we know we're gonna be going on some intense water. The boat's 35 years old and it actually looks really clean for its age. What I'm gonna do is just get down and actually take a really good look underneath the hull. You wanna make sure there's no actual gouges or cracks. And you wanna make sure there's no excessive, um, excessive uh, scraping or anything here. So as we take a look under, I check all the way from the front to the back, all, all the way under to the very tip. And feel with your hand. It should feel nice and smooth and all the surface should be there. You just wanna take a look on anywhere. This boat, particular boat has little to no wear. 35 years old, it's never really hit. 35 years old, as far as the only minor, minor, minor scratches on this boat are from just bringing it up to the beach and having micro scratching from sand. Because you bring the boat right up to the beach, that's amazing. So that's all this boat has on it. So for 35 years old, it's doing fantastic. Uh, check how the boat's sitting on the rollers. Check around this area of the boat. Check the entire area that way. So for, for 35 years, he's doing pretty good then. Make sure there's not too much damage. This is actually in really good condition. It's 35 years old. There's very, very light scratches on the bottom. That's just from somebody going to the beach, bringing the boat up on the water, bringing the boat up on light rocks. Looks very nice under here. Everything's smooth, everything's solid still. 35 year old boat. And also make sure if you're gonna be towing the boat home, that it has good tires on the trailer because you're obviously getting a trailer with your boat. So check to make sure it has good tires and uh, ask uh, the previous person. It could be installed with a trailer buddy. We're gonna have a whole episode on trailers. But if it's not, try and find out when the last time it was greased, especially if you're taking it very far. And make sure the leaf springs, everything looks in good shape. None, no leaf springs are broken. If the leaf springs this small, they, uh, if it breaks, it's not a good thing. That can cause some damage. So you wanna just give a quick check to that. You wanna just check out the side of the boat, check out the seams, check out the seams, check out the cracks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know some things to look for before you make a big purchase and buy yourself a boat. Thanks for watching my how not to buy a lemon boat. And we got some fantastic new trips planned for the Banshee. And we got some fantastic new stuff. I'm gonna be getting a drone next year. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna be hitting new lakes, BC, Ontario, Alberta, everywhere we're gonna hit some great stuff. Stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe the video. Make sure you subscribe right down there because we got so much awesome stuff coming.